Hey everybody, happy Monday. It's a new week. I need to edit my last vlog, but today I have to go away, so I won't be editing today. I don't know what time I'll be back, but I have work at half past six, so I'll probably be back around then. I am literally just back in time for work. It is 25 minutes past six, and I'm just logging in. It didn't even get changed, didn't even get to take off my makeup, nothing. I just got to tie up my hair, but it needs to be brushed pretty badly because I got caught in the rain. The thoughts of taking off my makeup, mm, I'll probably just wear it. I might take it off with some water, that water, uh, and then give it a proper wash after work. I will see. I didn't really get to eat today when I was away. So I'm having a roast beef sandwich, slow cooker roast beef. And I'm having my cherry plum kombucha for the win. Mmm! Hi everyone. I woke up this morning. And I don't know if you can tell on the camera. My eyelid is quite swollen and it's very sensitive to touch. It's very itchy. This one's a little swollen but not as bad. So I called the doctor and he said he'd see me at four o'clock. And it's quarter to four now, so I'm just about to head down there. And hopefully he'll give me something to soothe it, because it's kind of like, oh, it's sore. I can feel it when I when I blink, I can feel my eyelid open and close, which I don't usually feel. Do people usually feel their eyelids open and close? I don't think so. And it's kind of throbbing slightly, and also it's really itchy, but when I touch it, it stings and burns. So who knows what it is? We're gonna find out, hopefully. I just hope he doesn't send me to A&E, to the eye clinic, because I'll be like, <laughs> Give me the letter and I'll go tomorrow morning because I'm not going today. I have work. Back from the doctor. It's almost th uh, five o'clock, so I was almost an hour downtown. Um, so I got some a serum for my eyes and ointment to uh, to help the swelling and stinginess go away. And I'll use that a couple of times, three times a day for about 14 days. The chemist said, um, if after 10 days it's cleared, then use it for two more days. Um, but she said it'd probably take about 14 days. So whenever it clears, use it for two more days after that. And I bought myself, oh, I got myself also a uh, Neoclaritin because I have hay fever. And I also got some CeraVe because I am a sucker for the internet. It's all over TikTok, it's all over YouTube as like the world's greatest facial cleanser. It's meant to be as good as like Vichy and La Roche and all those ones that are like way more expensive in terms of how much you get in a bottle. So this is a 473 milliliter bottle and it was 13 euros inside in Copland, so. I shall try that this evening and we'll see how we get on. It's 25 past six, so I'm just logging into work. I put the uh, ointment on my eyes about an hour and a half ago, because it was just uh, before four or five o'clock when I came home from the chemist. Oh my goodness. It was like almost instant relief. Within about 10 minutes, there was no more itchiness, no more soreness. It's amazing. I'm finished work. I'm going to try out the V face wash in a couple of minutes. Um, well, it's half 11, or excuse me, it's 20 to 11 now. So I'll probably try it sometime between 11 and 12. Um, but I'm going to be very careful around my eye area, obviously. I need to be very careful around my eyes. In general, you should be careful around your eyes, but just at the moment, I have to be extra careful. I just washed my face using the V hydrating cleanser and it feels very soft. I'm not after putting on anything else yet. It looks red, that's only under this light. Um, in reality, I'm not red. I don't know why I'm red on the camera. No tightness or tautness at all, which sometimes I find, depending on the face wash that I use, sometimes you can feel a little taut after it. So that's a nice feeling. Um, now I'm just gonna put on a little toner and then a um, moisturizer. Good morning, everybody. I washed my face this morning again with the CeraVe and I quite like it, it's so smooth. And then I just went over it with some vitamin C serum. This serum, it is Nordic Sea Arctic Berry Oil Cocktail. And you shake it up and then you just put a little, I like the tiniest bit in. And then I put a little cream under my eyes. And I also use a light spot treatment just on the spot and then moisturized with an SPF. And then I put on my Ointment. Just having some coffee. It is the um, Waterford one, Coffee House Lane. So good. Come September in college, we will have to do some independent research for our final year project. So 
I'm trying to pick a topic now so that at least when I start in September I can be like oh I've been researching this topic so I am researching I'm not gonna say what it is but I'm currently just kind of looking over something and um, it's really hard to find information on so I might need to change my mind I need to edit my last vlog so I should probably do that now but it's Wednesday so I don't have work today at least that's something it's the 11th of August My big plan was that I was going to go to Chicago, but with coronavirus, Delta variant on the rise, my lack of a COVID digital cert, I still haven't gotten one of those. And with all the issues between America, like not accepting flights from Ireland, unless it's somebody that's a US citizen or there's an emergency, it just wasn't viable. Oh, also money. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's all my friends that are meeting in Chicago today. I wish I was with you. I was going to fly in yesterday and fly home Sunday and go to see Daniel Van Kirk. He's kicking off his show tonight. I should however mention that it's a good idea that I didn't go in the end because my eye. Um, can you imagine if I had woken up yesterday morning with this eye? I would Actually, I probably wouldn't have woken up with this eye because I probably just would have went, not gone to bed and been on the way to the airport for my flight. I'm still sitting here editing my last vlog and something struck me that I forgot to mention. So I mixed the peach kombucha with Pepsi Max and then I drank some and you saw my reaction and I was like oh no it's not that bad I was lying it was awful it made me have pain in my stomach after like five sips I had to throw the rest of it away I think I still have the kombucha in the fridge I really need to throw that away I did however get the cherry plum again I think I mentioned it earlier in this vlog it's so good the cherry plum is amazing it's Thursday which means new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All Star but before I get to that, I got a package in the post and it's really badly damaged, but I know what it is. In fact, I ordered this in like almost a month ago. So after I ordered it, um, I expected it to be here within like a week or so, but it never arrived. So yesterday I emailed the company and I was like, why is my package after taking almost a month? Where is it? And I didn't get an answer back yet. Oh no, I cut through the bag. So this is what I got. I'll have to get tape and tape that bag up. Okay, so these are hard wax beads. And this is some waxing spatulas. And this is some aftercare lotion. And this is some equipment cleaner. And this is some pre-care cleansing gel. But this was the main... I got this wax heater for hard wax. Now, I read online that it's only okay, but hey, it's fine. Um, but Murphy's Law dictates that it would arrive today because I shaved my legs yesterday. <laughs> so coming up, Ryan needs a friend. They did a special episode just for pen pals with Dan and Rory and they read my letter and Conan O'Brien keeps saying Sarah Dawn. Conan O'Brien said my name. <laughs> it's 25 past six and my little moment of Conan O'Brien speaking about me has <sighs> settled down. Um, I'm just getting logging into work. I was just texting my friend Chloe from college and we were talking about Kissing Booth 3 because we both watched it yesterday. And the film is on Netflix now and it is two hours long, which makes it about an hour and 55 minutes too long. It's, it's awful. I mean, it's, it's so bad. It's terrible. It's terrible. Uh, but everybody should watch it. We were discussing how it's so bad that we could probably write our own film. We just have to make sure that it's about a girl aged between 15 and 18 who's in high school, who is a geek and kind of falls for the jock who's just a little bit older than her. But both actors are clearly in their mid to late 20s because um, that's the only way that you can make it work. Some unbelievable situation happens and they end up falling in love. It's practically writes itself. This is the remnants of me trying my new hard waxer. So I just decided to do one of my thighs because I hadn't shaved that. And there, it's quite red, but like 
that's after just waxing so I'm sure it'll calm down over the next couple of hours and it'll be lovely and smooth tomorrow um, I'm just waiting for the device itself to cool down and then I'm going to use this cleaner that came with it it's a wax equipment cleaner and I'll just wipe down the stringy bits that are on it there's not much not too bad it wasn't messy um, and it wasn't that painful at all it was just like an initial sting but it was way way less painful than the wax that I use in like the wax strips way less so so far it's getting a good review from me